Hello, all. Hi. Hi, Beebster. So things are going to be a little crazy tonight. I've been doing a whole lot of research into Isaac and I found some pretty sketchy stuff. Hello everyone. Cheryl, Lisa, hi all of you. Um, so... I was asking for information, and somebody sent me a video done by Isaac Cappy's neighbor. Everybody know Isaac Cappy's neighbor? Anybody seen those videos yet? So as I watched this video, almost three hours long, I started to notice this woman was lying. Over and over and over and over again, she lied. Um, it wasn't just a couple of discrepancies. It was lies. And then she was writing me in my inbox and she was lying more. She's publicly been telling everyone that the computer that Isaac Cappy gave her, he wiped everything out of, okay? All the information on it is wiped out. Yeah, she says she's doing another one tonight, and that's okay. Uh, we'll just catch her in more lies, because I guarantee this girl's not going to be able to keep her uh, story straight. Yeah, her Twitter account might be new, but her Instagram sure isn't. And she's wiped a bunch of stuff during the time when uh, Isaac was dead. Yeah, if the computer's wiped out, exactly. Abby Buick, is that it? Uh, but what about the bank records? If you get rid of all of your, um, information, you wipe a computer, the bank account information is not still on there. She had yet to answer me about that. I've questioned her over and over again. And here's the kicker. She goes through Wells Fargo, or I'm sorry, Cappy goes through Wells Fargo. When she whipped out those bank statements and showed me, Wells Fargo has two-step authentication on all online transactions, which means you cannot just save your password in your browser and say, hey, Google, save my password for this site, and then go log in. No, it automatically expires. You have to know the password in order to be logged in. Yeah, they didn't look like normal statements. She was printing them off, so she was in his account, and she told me, Right after telling everybody and me that the computer was wiped, that there was no information on it, no browser information, no nothing. It was clean, brand new, sparkly clean. Then when I asked her how she got his bank information, you know what she said? She said, oh, it was in his browser history. Uh, so let me tell you, if, if you're using Wells Fargo, you can't get in using the browser history. I'm sorry, you just can't. They have a two-step authentication, and it expires you within 10 minutes of not doing anything on there. You have to know the password to log in. You have to. What is she doing as a neighbor in possession of his password to his bank account? Yeah, you still need the password. Yes, it's a contradiction. It's one hell of a contradiction. So we all think Cappy was killed, and if she was involved with that, then she could have got anything. Of course, he'll give his password to his bank account. Are you kidding me? He probably would have gave his, his left arm to the people killing him. You know, I can't say that she's involved, but I guarantee I think so. I think a thousand percent. Do I think she's really the neighbor? Yes, I do. But let me tell you something. She also lied to me three times about how she met Cappy, 
when she met Cappy and the circumstances under which she met, met him. First, she told me she knew the neighbor, the lady who lived there in Isaac's house, and she took care of her dogs every day. And that's how she met Cappy. Then she changed it to she met him at a store. And then found out he was the neighbor. Uh, if she was best friends with this neighbor, and she didn't tell her she was going to let Cappy move in. If she's over there every day checking on the dogs and working with the dogs every day, like she said, she's not going to tell her that she's going to have somebody moving in. Pretty sure she would have. Pretty sure she didn't meet him. Oh, my God. Look, it's Isaac Cappy at the store. Come on. Yeah, that's how she said she knew him from watching his videos. So anyway, my point is she lied about 10 times in that video. And then she lied to me. She lied about how many computers he had. She lied about how she got his bank account information. Uh, she lied about when she met him, how she met him. Uh, gosh, what's some of the other lies? It was lie after lie after lie after lie. Let's put it that way. Nothing she said was straight and truthful. Yeah, she didn't watch. You're right. He, he only sat in front of that wooden closet one time. You're right. Not all the time. Yeah. She said she's going to be doing it with the neighbor. But let's put it this way. She moved in there not that long ago, guys. No, there's not. There's not a huge bugger. That's the inside of my nostrils. There's no booger in my nose, guys. Stop it. Anyway, on top of that, she was also um, not very emotional. Did you notice? The one time she started saying, oh, I'm going to I'm going to miss Isaac so much. Oh, pretending like she was wiping a tear away. Then she looked at the camera and said, oh, well, no use crying over spilled milk. No use crying over spilled milk. A man just died. No use crying over spilled milk. Are you kidding me? That uh, burns my ass. Yeah, flour is a fake. Let me tell you what she did. She moved next door in order to infiltrate his life and end it. That's what I think. That is my opinion. She is involved. Everything she did was fake. I'm telling you, this is how the deep state works. And Isaac didn't even smell her. Hollywood sent an actress to Isaac Cappy. Make no mistake, the girl is an actress. She was sent there to infiltrate and find out Cappy's day-to-day -day routine, which she did very good. Yeah, she had nice nails for being so broke. Oh, wait, 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 you want to hear some more? She was so broke that in the days right after Isaac Cappy died, she was at the penthouse bar at the Cosmopolitan Hotel for a party for a whole week in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's where she's been. That's why you haven't seen her. How did she get the money to go to Vegas and hang out in one of the classiest bars there are? Yeah, pretty broke, huh? But I can go party in Vegas for a week. Yeah, Isaac was a victim. And you all knew that the deep state was after him. You all knew Hollywood wanted him shut up. Tom Hanks made that post a month ago because he knew they had his ass. That girl was obviously the one who was telling everybody, you can come take him anytime you want him. Yeah, she didn't like him. That was obvious. She just pretended she liked him. She made a lot of rude, nasty comments about him. And I found her fakeness so offensive. And I'm going to tell you what she did. She moved in next door because Hollywood paid her to move in next door. 
She gave all the information and set him up, and that's why he's dead. She had his bank account information after he was dead. She lied about it all. She's a liar. She's a liar. She's a liar. And why would you lie 20 times about something so important? Unless you were hiding something. She was hiding something big time. Yeah, the timeline was a red flag. And let me tell you what else freaked me out in her timeline. She's telling us where Cappy went. Go look that up on a map. Where he went was from here to here, back to here, to here. All those cities in Arizona, if you were going to go to them, you'd want to go one, two, three, four. You wouldn't want to go one, two, three, four. So she was, she was, she didn't like him. That's obvious. She didn't care about him. She pretended to his only friend in the world. Did she forget about us or something? Isaac had plenty of friends. She wasn't his only friend in the whole world. He had friends all over. And what she did, yeah, she seemed emotionless. Somebody said, I knew it from the first five minutes. So did I. I can smell a deep state rat. When you've been around them, you know. She was the honeypot. It wasn't for the sex. It was for the being up in his business. Knowing whether he slept with a gun. Knowing where he slept. Whether he left his door unlocked. Gaining his trust so she could get in and out. Somebody was in his apartment. Even she agrees to that. Do we think the woman whose home he was living in was in on it too? I don't know. She is going to be supposedly on the scope tonight. But I don't know if that's going to be another actress or if that woman's going to be terrified too. We're going to find out. Yeah, she pulled out the jacket and said suicide gleefully. Just like when she turned around to the camera right after saying Oh, Isaac's dead. But there's no use crying over spilled milk. The perfect actress. Is she helping the lady who owns the house? I don't know. She might have her hostage. I'll tell you this right now. The lady who owns the house didn't go in and make a scope. The lady who owns the house hasn't made a statement or anything. So when we see her tonight, we don't even know if that's really going to be the person who owns the house. Yeah, she invited Cappy to live there. And then three or four months after he moves in, this girl becomes a neighbor. How convenient. And then this girl's over there every day. And no, he's never talked about her. But she was his best friend who ate with him and saw him every morning and every night. But it was her best friend. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you. This is how the deep state works. They'll send somebody into your life if they want to get you. That you'll never suspect. Did you see how cute she was? Oh, so cute. Oh, so sweet. Oh, I'm the neighbor who cares so much. She was an actress. She's an actress. She's an actress. The deep state hired her to go get all the intel they could on Cappy. And whenever they felt like doing it, they could grab him and they grabbed him. Oh, I don't think she's going to gather too much of a following. If people are that fucking stupid, if people are that fucking stupid to think that this stupid bitch is not a fake and a liar and a scammer, look, either she stole his computer and stole his bank account information or he gave it to her. Now, if he gave it to her, why would you give somebody access to your bank account? I would only do that under one circumstance. 
if your ass was going to kill me, then I'll give you my bank account information. Until then, I'm not giving you shit. You're not getting into my bank account. You're not getting my freaking desktop computer. You can't have that. And not with access to my bank, unless you're going to kill me. Then I'll give you all of it. Yeah, he would not do it willingly. You're right. Login was not saved on his computer after dark. Think about this. You can Google this. Wells Fargo has a two-party authentication system. You cannot save it to your you cannot save it to your computer. And if you could, if you could, listen, just hear me out. If you could save your password to the computer and log in, she told everybody. Isaac handed her a clean computer with nothing on it. No history, no nothing. She said Isaac wiped the computer before she gave it to him or before he gave it to her. Oh, you know what else? Hey, somebody just said the mom never called her back. Well, let me tell you something. She said, we haven't talked to the mom. And then later on in the scope, she said, when I talked to Isaac's mom, oh, oh, but that was earlier. And uh, she hasn't called us back again. Just a few minutes ago, you said you hadn't talked to her. Now you start a sentence with, when I talked to Isaac's mom earlier. What? I thought you didn't talk to him. Yeah. And she couldn't keep her story straight. And why? What would be the reason for somebody to not keep their story straight or to be caught in lies when we're talking about a man's death? What would a detective do, a police detective, if they started questioning you about what's going on and how you got a bank account from a dead man and you started lying about it? They would lock your ass up. I told her too. I told her too. I have written her all day long. All day. I said, you're a liar. She knew I was going to do this. I said, you're a liar and you need to come clean. Tell me before I tell the world why you would lie about this, 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 and this. And she couldn't. She couldn't tell me why she was lying. Instead, she started lying again. And then I got my third and fourth and fifth different, different versions of the story from her today in my inbox. I'm going to post all of her lies to my tweet. I'm going to post them all. She lied to me all through that whole inbox. I said, how many computers did Isaac have? She said, well, he only had one. I said, well, on the Periscope, you said he had a desktop and a laptop and an iPad. Oh, oh, that's right. He did have two computers. So when I ask her about it today, I say, why did you lie about the computers? She said, there is only one computer. I was just confused. I said, is there one or is there two? Go back and watch her Periscope. She says... The one she got was cleaned. The one Isaac gave her had nothing on it. The other one he gave to somebody else. So which one is it? He, she knew he had two computers. She's a liar. She's a liar. Why do you lie about somebody's death? Unless your ass is involved. So here's my deal. She's either involved in his death, which I think, because you can tell she doesn't like him. She can't hardly stand him. No use crying over spilled milk. She can't stand him. That's obvious. She did not like him. So she either lied because she was behind helping getting him killed. Or she lied because she was robbing his fucking bank account. And then showed us all she had access to it before she robbed it. So now that his parents know she's had access to the bank account, I don't think she'd be stupid enough to steal the money 
So that throws that one out of the blue. If it wasn't to steal the money out of the bank account, what other reason did she have to lie? Anybody know? I'll tell you why she lied, because she's guilty of something. This is the info I was talking about last night. I was dealing with her and she was lying to me last night. I was speaking to her last night and she was lying left and right. And I was in the middle of that conversation when it was time to do my periscope. So I didn't do it. Yeah, his bedroom's a crime scene. And when he, where he was looking that night, where the other two people were, somebody was out that front door because that's who he was looking at, who was watching him to keep him shut up. The one he was watching to do that with, as soon as that guy wasn't looking, he said, and then he grabbed his beard real quick. He went, so the guy didn't catch him. And then he started looking to his right. That's where the dog was. And that's where his closed off bedroom is. So somebody's ass was in that bedroom. Yeah, and I don't think he punched those holes in the wall. I think that's a sign of a struggle. I definitely think that bedroom's a crime scene. I definitely think if he didn't punch a hole in those walls in over a year, and then all of a sudden there's holes in there the day before he leaves, yeah, that's a sign of a struggle. So, yeah, she had privy to all this stuff. And who the fuck... What kind of a roommate lets their fucking neighbor in to have access to your dead roommate shit and his computer and his fucking bank account? You don't. If you're a nice mate, if you're smart, you don't let anybody touch your dead roommate stuff. You don't let somebody go through it and you don't let somebody video in the dead man's room. That leads me to believe that even if we talk to this roommate, she's compromised or she would not have let them in. She would not have let that girl in if she wasn't compromised. She would not have let that girl have access to the bank accounts if she wasn't compromised. So we're going to see if this is the real roommate because I have the address, y'all, so I know who lives there. This is the deal. If they pop on there with some fake person, I'll know that it's not her because I have the address. I know who the woman is, who was Isaac's roommate. So if they bring anybody on by her, I'm going to scream about that. If she comes on there, everybody watch her and see if she's scared or terrified or in danger. I bet you if she doesn't come on and do a good scope tonight, She's going to be the next one we're going to find jumping off a fucking bridge. Yes, Rumi and neighbor could be in cahoots. Rumi invited Cappy to live there. Yes, Cappy's not a violent person. There's holes in the wall. That means something violent did happen there. Yes, he did say he was invited to stay there. Yes, she was fake crying. It was all fake. It was totally fake. No use crying over spilled milk. And she smiled. This is a man's death. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cappy's gone. But no use crying over spilled milk. That's what she did. Yeah, the holes. He was he was sick to his stomach that last scope, you all. He was terrified. Someone was in front of him right where that door was, and someone was in the other room. Yeah, and she kept saying he was broke, he was broke. I paused that bank statement. It had 2000 some dollars on one point, almost another 2000 on another, and then it had almost $7,000 in another spot. There was like $12,000 in that account, in his multiple different accounts. But he was broke. This, this, there's something really fishy here, you all. But to me, I've been around the deep state. I know how these fucking people operate. 
They set, they set that woman to go after Cappy. They've been watching him and taking care of him for a long time. <clears throat> and when he, he called me last week and he talked to a bunch of other people too. When he quit hunting down and doxing survivors and came to the side of Jesus and the good side, these people decided to eliminate him. That's all there was to it. What use was he to them anymore? He lied to them and quit quit working for them. He wasn't going to do their dirty work anymore. And so they fucking whacked him. Yeah, why are they cleaning the room? You're right, it is a crime scene. But they've already they've already said it was a suicide. They wrapped that up neatly and nicely, didn't they? Maybe we can talk them into reopening the case because I'm sure not going to be quiet about this. I'm going to run my mouth. Yeah, they probably did pretend to protect him. They probably told him, we'll never tell anybody where you live. Yeah, she did reinforce the suicide, saying he might be a little crazy. But she also said there was a guy in that room. There was a guy in that room. And she saw a car. Now, was that the real person's car? Or is she trying to just get one of his friends in trouble if anything should go wrong? She said someone was there and she could tell by all the dark energy. I'm sorry. That's talk like that is new age witchy stuff. It talk like that comes straight out of the cult. Straight from the cult. Yeah, she called Isaac feminine. She called him a slob. She called him a weirdo. She called him an agoraphobic. She kept saying, oh, Isaac wouldn't go out and meet a drug dealer. He's an agoraphobic. Bullshit. He went all the way to Australia. The guy's not an agoraphobic. Agoraphobics can't leave their own house. She just said he was running down the street to get a pack of cigarettes. Agoraphobics don't do that. Yes, Isaac told me he was hunting people. Yes, not, not hunting. He was giving information to pay off debts for survivors. He told all of you, you didn't read his last letter and listen to his last scope. He told you he was involved in some stuff that was going to come out. And from what I understand, it's still going to come out and it's going to be bad. What do you mean when though? It, that This has been, it, it was not during the time where he was in trouble. It was before that. It was within the week. He did. She also didn't seem very part bright. Maybe that's part of it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? She was somewhat smart and somewhat cute. But I'll tell you what. This, this actress flubbed her lines. She couldn't remember all the little details. When you start forgetting details about important stuff, and you start mixing stuff up like that, that means your whole story is fabricated. When you start lying over and over and over again about the same stuff, about this whole story you just told, but you can't even remember what you just said, that means she was reading a script, ladies and gentlemen, a deep state script. This is what you're going to tell these people so that they think what I want you to think. You thought she was just stoned. Her soullessness showed. No, she was an actress. And she couldn't even remember what she said at the beginning at the end. She contradicted herself and caught herself in over 10 lies in that video. And, yeah, yeah, she also said to wait for their move. And she also said, this is, this is a chess game. Anybody catch that comment? The chess game comment? Who caught that? 
When did Isaac's death become a chess game? If it's a chess game, what side is she on? Yeah, and the roommate was scared to be seen. She's never come out and said it. Yeah, their move was Cappy's death. You're right. You don't you don't call somebody's death a chess game. And you don't forget what you just said an hour ago in the same periscope unless you made it up to begin with. Why lie? Why lie? Unless you're an actress telling a script and telling people she had certain talking points. The rest of it, she lacked emotions. You want to know why? It's easy to lack emotions when you're reading a script. You guys here see all my emotion right now because I'm pissed. But if I wanted to just tell you guys something and I didn't do it with any emotion, you might think I was telling you a story about a script. You know, that's what a script is. A script is just reading something that someone's told you to do that you have to memorize. And I'm telling you, she did it. She's an actress. She's a deep state actress sent by Hollywood. Hollywood eliminated him and she made sure to get on her scope and run him down and say he was an agoraphobic, mentally ill, psycho who punched walls and was a fucking slob and didn't clean and didn't cook and hid in his room and smoked weed and drank little vodka bottles. He was just a little fucking retarded hermit, according to her. And that's what pissed me off. She came straight out and brought him down to about this tall and made him look like somebody who would commit suicide. She may not have been on the suicide bandwagon saying, yeah, he committed suicide, but she made him look like a crazy person. She talked about him like he was nuts. That's gaslighting. That's projection. That's putting an image on somebody that's not true. I implore every one of you, go back and watch her video again. Yeah, and yet she loved him as a friend and was there every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ask her if she has any pictures with her and Cappy together doing anything, having fun. Does she have any pictures of Cappy saved that are anywhere other than pictures of him in the house? I bet she didn't hang out with him. She didn't care about him. It was obvious she loathed him. She couldn't stand him. And probably the actors that hate him, she's probably one of their little slaves. And she probably doesn't like him because they don't like him. She's writing me right now. Truth of a flower or something like that. Truth of a flower. But it's flower power. I think it's truth of a flower. Yeah, we do need the video of Isaac checking into the day's end. <clears throat> when she called his room the location, red flag. Yeah, that's a red flag. That's the way you talk about a target, a victim. I'm telling you all, there would be no reason for her to lie unless she was involved. Yeah, they made sure he made it to Route 66, like Tom Hanks said. They knew a month ago they were going to get him. Exactly. His credit card was used, but it wasn't him that used it. And I want to thank each and every one of you for giving me all the information and helping me like you did. I have looked up so much stuff in the last couple of days. This is my conclusion. I have no doubt, no doubt, none that he was murdered. And now I have no doubt, none 
that this girl was involved. She had her days wrong. She had everything wrong. She, uh, you don't sit and lie about somebody's death. You just don't do that. Yeah, he was murdered. And we're not going to just let it be called a suicide forever. I'm doing a lot of stuff. I am doing a lot of stuff right now. Making sure that this is not over. So it's not just me talking to y'all on here. It's not just me doing research. I'm going to make sure that this gets reopened and that that room is a crime scene. Hey, I don't know if Cappy would have done it for me, but I think so. And I know he found God and Jesus at the end. And, you know, I'm not afraid of them. I haven't even told my wife yet, but I'm going to say what I'm going to say right now. And I've had people on here threatening me left and right. And I haven't shown her yet, but I'm going to show her how these people have threatened me today. They did not want me to do this scope. We've had a lot of other conversations going on, so I haven't had a chance to sit down and show her. But they threatened me. You know what I told them? I'm ready for you. If you want to come for me, come on. You better bring some backup. Yeah, I heard they threatened those other people too. And I heard what they did and how they did it. And people don't understand that they have that kind of access where they can open up your phone, send you a threat, and then it disappears. Of course they can do that. Of course they can. They didn't threaten me that way. They kept getting a hold of me in my inbox going, oh, you better be careful. Oh my God. Just think of what might happen to you. If you tell this, they might kill you worse than they killed Cappy. So, yeah, you want to play chess deep state? If you're seeing this, come on. Checkmate, motherfucker. I'm not afraid of none of them. Yeah, I'm going to tell you all this, this, uh, the game is afoot. It's just begun. So I'm probably not going to do a periscope tomorrow. I may, or I may not, but if I don't, I'll be back on Monday and I'm just, you know, I'm just absolutely certain my friend Isaac Cappy was murdered. I'm absolutely certain. You're very welcome. Thank you for the prayers. Yeah, I have called my boyfriend today, cocksucker. You see, you get random people like this, some... Some little asshole just asked me if I've uh, called my boyfriend today. Why don't you just call me a faggot, dude? Cowards. Hiding behind a, a no face. Might as well threaten me right here on the scope. Probably was looking for me. I don't know. Yeah, a troll. Anyways, guys. 
go watch that video again. And everybody, keep an eye on any new video that comes out. And we'll get back together. Oh, yeah, that was me. That was me. If you're talking about her, yeah. She was looking for me. You're right. Immediately. And she was flabbergasted when I caught her in all of her lies. She thought I was going to be her buddy. No, you don't lie to me and then expect me to be your friend. No. As soon as you lie to me and you start telling me fishy stuff and my friend is dead, I think not. I think not. So she's no friend of mine. I'm no friend of hers. And somebody please tell David Scherter that I blew this girl up tonight. Uh, I have talked about her Instagram a little bit. Anybody looked at her Instagram? She's got some psycho stuff on there. Uh, like her being at Las Vegas right after Cappy died. Hanging out at the Cosmopolitan Bar. Spending all sorts of money in Vegas. What was she doing there? And whose money did she have? She said she was broke. She said she was broke. But she was at Vegas at the Cosmopolitan Bar doing some sort of party that was going on this whole week. So, yeah, her Instagram told a lot. It told a lot. She's definitely a drug head who talks a lot about higher consciousness. Isn't that funny? Remember what Isaac said about his higher consciousness and where he went to that high level and then he went way low and that somebody was uh, convincing him he was the reincarnation of Judas Iscariot? And this girl admits to giving him mushrooms? He was, uh, yeah, something's not right with her. Y'all take that with anything you want. Take it with a grain of salt. But don't just believe me. Go watch her video. Write down what she says. And then later when she lies about what she just said, check mark it. Say one lie, two lies, three lies. By the time you get to 10, you'll be like, oh my God. Is she lying about everything? And pay attention to how she talks about Isaac. He's my best friend. Oh, I spend every day with him. But I haven't seen him at all this last week, the week that he died. Mysteriously, she spends every day with him. But the week before he died, she didn't go over one time. Not once. She saw him on Thursday walk into a store. That's the last time she saw him. So either she was his best buddy going over there daily, but she sure avoided him during the week he died. Wonder why that is. Were you working on an alibi? Didn't see him at all this week. I was with my man. Who's your man? Another actor? Anyway, y'all be safe. Take care. I love you. I am safe. I want you to know that. I want you all to know people have my six. I am a white hat, even though I'm wearing a black one. I'm a good guy. And I'm not afraid of any of these guys. I'm not. There's multiple reasons why I'm not afraid of them. They think I'm just some punk. That's fine. Keep thinking that. Come near me. See what happens. Believe me, I'm safe. I have the power and protection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody can take that away from me. But I also have the protection of Taurus and Smith and Wesson. Oh, I will. I will. I will. I even have people who watch my house for me, you all. It's it's uh it's pretty intense. Aw, oh, Jimbo, you need to take a break, dude. You're losing it. No, I'm not. I'm not losing it when somebody lies to me. How do you say that I'm losing it? Because somebody jumped on here and lied and lied and lied and lied and lied again about our friend's death. 
That's not losing it. That's getting pissed that somebody is jerking all of our chains. Ridiculous. And I'll bust out a liar quick. What other reason would she have to lie unless she was involved in it? What would a detective say? Anybody ever watched the first 48? Anybody? If you've watched the first 48, when the detectives bring all these people in that they think might be the murderer, who do they focus on? The one who tells the truth? Or the one who lies and the one who gets caught in more than one lie. That's who they go after. You start lying over and over and over again. You did something wrong. She did something wrong. Big time. Or she wouldn't be lying to cover her tracks. Yeah, the peeps who are the closest. Seems to me... Like she was the kind of person who Isaac couldn't stand. Like he didn't like her. She was that neighbor who was all up in his business. Wanting to know everything. Why? Because somebody sent her there. She had the gall, the nerve to go into his house where he had been sitting doing his periscopes. Sit her ass down. Go through his bank account in front of us all. Go through all of his things. Say, no use crying over spilled milk. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? That takes a lot of nerve. A lot of nerve. Touching his stuff, bringing his crap out of the closets, going through all of his paperwork. Bullshit. His computer, his bank account, his clothes, everything. Just ridiculous. Anyway, I love you all. I'm out of here. She's an actor. Beware, beware, beware. Watch her stuff. Watch anything she puts out new. We'll see if that was the roommate. I'm telling you, this girl knows better. I gave her her own address tonight. I gave her her own address. Of where Isaac lived. And I know who her roommate is. If it's not her, I'll tell all of you. Love you all. Good night. Hey, group hug. Right? For Cappy. Signing out. R.I.P. Cappy. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. Bye, guys.